by Cancer. It's L here to do a quick weekend reading for you. Um, it will not resonate with every Cancer, but if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. To all of you who have. Um, okay, Cancer. So interesting spread. Uh, well, yeah, I guess it's interesting. Um, so Cancer, this is going to be vice versa. I, I'll try to say it a few times, but if it doesn't fit you, then it's, it could be for the other party or it just doesn't resonate. And that's okay too. Okay, so Cancer, um, we're dealing with either you or the other person you're dealing with was or is dividing their in energy amongst two parties. You know, they have two people or two ways of, of living life. Uh, they're a different way with you, and then they're another way with another group, another party. You have somebody getting over an addiction here. A lot of healing energy. Um, you could have met this person in a group setting. This meeting, this coming together was divinely orchestrated, maybe to tear down some other, some falsehood, some false hope that you had with another person. Maybe with a Scorpio person or a Sagittarius person. Um, could be anybody. This coming together was meant for you to see that you can have the love, the connection that is mutually beneficial, a successful relationship, a successful friendship. The advice here is for you to understand, once again, the universe came in and stripped something or someone from your life because you weren't going to do it. And they did it by way of almost like switching bait, like switch the other bad person out with someone good, which then made you or the other person be given to two parties, divided in their energy. But it looks like someone, you cancer or the other person is choosing up. They're choosing to go into a new cycle here, you know, um, you know, allow the change of this cycle to happen. Uh, some of you, this change is also having you or the other person question their morality, their ethics. Someone has come into your life and they were destined to be here. They help you stay in order. It's some type of rule and regimen about yourself, about your life. Maybe they bring about better ethics or morality, or this is what you do for someone else. You could be dealing with the Taurus, or someone was dealing with the Taurus, or Sagittarius, Pisces, it could be anybody. But a, a, a cycle ended, and destiny happened. Maybe you're now in something better, new, because you do have a union here, and you have a soulmate. This could be for some of you, same-sex relationship. Um, we have the star card here twice, so lots of healing. Okay. Lots of healing going on here. Right now, you feel like with that other person, maybe the person that you're not in union with, or this is how the other person feels about, you know, you, you switch the energy. If you're not in union with that other person, at times you still desire them. You may even think about them in a very, a very carnal nature, very sexual or you know, physical nature. Um, you feel like things are stagnant at a halt. You're seeing something from a different perspective. You feel like you're at the end with this person. Maybe they 
did something to disappoint or, or you're on the verge, you, you just feel it ending with maybe the person that you're in union with, you have really deep feelings for this person, really deep emotions. Sometimes you try to get away from those feelings. You try to get away, suppress those or you try to downplay it. You try to manipulate yourself or lie to yourself that maybe you don't feel this way about this about this uh, particular person. It could be a Sagittarius here again with the nine of wands here. Um, you feel like maybe this is a gift from the universe. Like this is my karma, this person. Um, you feel like almost indebted to this person because they have brought so much different positive energy into your life or this is how someone feels about you. Uh, cancer, so reverse the energy. Um, once again, you feel like it's destiny, you know, um, that you hope, you wish, you pray for this type of healing connection. It says anytime you feel like you just don't know what to do, bring love into the situation. Could be dealing with, yeah, an Aquarius, new moon and Aquarius. We have Aquarius twice, the star card here, the star card here. Um, do know that luck is on your side. What is this? A new moon in Sagittarius. So you got a lot of newness here. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune, which could sometimes rep represent Sag and Pisces. So we've got a lot of energy here that's really just telling you, Cancer, to come into the new. Whatever the new is for you, go that way. Um, if you're dealing with someone who's new, a new type of energy, a new type of, of being, go that way. If you're dealing with someone who speaks to the old you, speaks to the old existence, the cards say not so much. You know, go to new. Um, it, it seems as if some destined opportunity person is going to bring you a lot of prosperity um, ahead for you. There's a lot of prosperity here for you. Maybe around the Taurus, New Moon, whatever that may be. Uh, you also have the Abundance card. Once again, really good energy. Abundance of love, energy, um, money. Could be anything and everything. Um, Some of you were praying for a new way to bring in more money. There might be a new stream of income that's good for you, that you are um, embarking on, that you, you're going in that direction. This is a, a, a destined change here. Um, either someone feels like you're a drama king or queen, or this is how you feel about someone else. Someone could have dealt with addiction. Someone is addicted to you or vice versa. Someone was at a place of not being able to choose. Someone is, but they want you to know, or this is you, Cancer, that you would choose them or they would choose you, Cancer. Someone once again dreams about you. Um, someone dreams about sex with you or vice versa. This is what you dream about. Someone at, at some point was a liar, is a liar. But once again, I think Cancer is feeling like they are in a soulmate, twin flame, whatever type of relationship. But it's, it's very um, destined, once again, to happen. Destiny with the star card. Feeling like you're on the right path with a particular energy, person, place, thing, job. To where you have to leave something behind because you care for someone new. You care to do something new. Somebody is letting a cycle change here. They, under, they understand that if they keep doing the same thing with the same type of energy, they'll get the same result. So it looks like someone's going into more prosperity in terms of money. Um, once again, finding a new income stream and it's working for you, a new person, and they're bringing, bringing in a lot of grounded energy. 
they could be older than you or have an older demeanor about themselves or the way they carry themselves, the way they think, um, or just maturity level. Um, they can have Sag in their chart, Pisces, Taurus, anybody. Aquarius is here twice, Libra, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, so the cards want you to know, Cancer, that if you just move with the change that is this relationship or new business or business proposition or new job, you're going to have destined, destined prosperity in here. Okay? So the, the cards want you to to allow the change to happen. Yes, it feels different. It feels weird at times. It's different. Um, but definitely know that there's only greatness on the other side of this change, okay? The Cancer, I hope that you have a really good weekend. If you feel like you want to get your own personal reading, go ahead and do that. You can book your reading. Um, at my website at the the link is below in the description box also if you just have a question or two um you can text the number below you can text your question pay for your question receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device take advantage of that answer have a really good weekend once again take care guys